Labyrinth by Tony Christie. And the book is composed of three main aspects, which he has stated at the beginning, knowledge, experience, and reflection. And later he says the central thing of the, like, this book is like oneness. So, but you'll understand once you go through the book, because there's a lot of like information and aspects that you will, that you kind of like have to immerse yourself in this book. Like it isn't one of those beginner 101 50 page kind of things. And like in this book, it, he, he's like, it's like the aspect of you already have done a little bit of labyrinth research yourself and then happen to come upon this book so he has stated again in the book that he has worked with labyrinths for years so it's just personal experiences and research and like quotes that he has put into this book about labyrinths so you got those three aspects in this book and being handed over to the reader. So he talks about like at the beginning like there's two types of labyrinths the classical labyrinth and then the chartreuse labyrinth and he goes into the meaning of these labyrinths. It focuses on like the one that he stick like the one that he, he sticks with like will like throughout the book there's like images of the labyrinth uh the main one he'll stick with in examples is that one but he also like that's the other one he talks about but the main one when he goes to different examples and showing like placements this is the one that he uses so talks about like the or origin smiths and using the labyrinth all within like the first chapter of the book and then it goes into a whole lot of other stuff that i'll mention it throughout the book you'll there will be exercises and then after the exercise, after the exercise, it's usually, you can tell it's usually the end of the book, but it's not the book, but the chapter, but the reflection would tie in their exercise and a little wrap up and then I'll go to the next chapter. So it'll be the information exercise reflection. So that's the main setup of the chapters. So it's very informative, jam packed with information, like I said. And then, like, it talks, like, there's a lot of different things, like, talks of, uh, like, the mur muratic, mithratic, uh, like, the mithraism, worship of the god Mithras. <laughs> I likely screwed up those two words, but there is that. Uh, it'll talk about, like, alchemy, the four elements tarot tree of life and a lot of other information and its connection onto the labyrinth like these points are on the labyrinth and the connection and like information and later on he he'll there's a little bit saying that he'll he's he's stating let the labyrinth can represent one or multiple journeys all at once so you could be going on one journey but once you're done that, you could be hit with two others that you'd be going on at the same time. And, like, it does have a small, it does have a chapter about death. And then, which would lead into the next chapter that's rebirth and past lives. So, he talk, like, he talks about, like, the starting points of stuff and then these points are part of 
what is the meaning of the labyrinth. And it's for readers who want to bring in the labyrinth, the labyrinth more into their practice slash life. Many aspects brought in to connect labyrinth, which I have already stated. And like, if you already had some expo exposure to the labyrinth and want to know more, this is the book for like this is the book for you. Like I'm not saying it's the end all be all holy grail of books about labyrinths, but it is jam packed with information, exercises, and things uh, like for you to read and do yourself. And yeah, it might not be for everybody, but it is for those who want that experience with labyrinths. So. Labyrinth by Tony Christie. Happy readings.